Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to do the hands on hip by K, similar to what live TV models do, but 3D style. That way, you can look very sassy. But I will say before we get started, if you're an absolute beginner in Wadudo, I heavily do not recommend watching this tutorial. Please make sure you're familiar with Wadudo before attempting this one, as this is considered an advanced tutorial. It'll go over things such as eye caves and blueprint toggles, so make sure you at least have some practice on eye caves and uh, blueprints beforehand and just getting very familiar with the Wadudo UI. I'll still try my best to make this as step by step as possible and also if by any chance you're already using hand eye caves already or even arm pendulum where you have the live to you like arm sway please take into consideration of those things because um, depending on what you're going for you may have to apply the knowledge and do some experimental stuff to get things such as toggling it can be a bit stressful believe me I've, I've experienced it but for now I'm gonna have it where for the character here actually no not character eye facial mocap receiver I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the arm movements so I'm gonna delete that for the time being I can always bring it back later um it again if for your case, you may want to disable it. For my case, I'm deleting it because the pendulum will just be there. But I'm going to delete that just for demonstration. Um, but what I'll be doing first and foremost is that I'm going to go into character here. And then I'm going to go over to body IK. And then see these little tiny arrows right here. You're going to make sure to expand both of them. And from here, we're going to have it where we're going to make four different anchor points. So in order to make these anchor points, we could use the blue button here if you want to quickly make them. But for my case, I'm actually going to make them permanent. So I'm going to go to add asset right here. I'm going to scroll down to miscellaneous and then I'm going to go over to anchor. Anchor is pretty much just an empty game object, which is pretty much where we're going to anchor our stuff really. So what you'll do is that for this one, we're going to start off with just uh, the simple hands. So I'm going to call, I'm going to go over here to rename assets. I'm going to name this one left hand IK. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this, let's say around here maybe, but I do have to apply, the, I do have to set a transformation um, attachment because since I want my hands on my hips, I need to go to attach to then character and this will have to be set to my hips so you're gonna have to go ahead and adjust that little thing so that way it's just on your hip something like this right um and then i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this asset and i'm going to rename this one to right hand ik that's okay then i'm gonna move that to the other side and then uh, what we're going to then do is we're going to make another one. So we're going to duplicate the asset, but this time we're going to rename this one to left elbow IK. Press OK. And same thing with right hand. We'll duplicate, rename the hacker into right elbow. This is just so it can allow you to have more precision over like where your elbows will be. Now, regarding the elbows, I'm gonna also go ahead and move this upward. Again, bear with me that I'm kind of going a bit fast here. Um, again, like I said, if you're an absolute beginner, I don't recommend this tour, but, um, but again, the first step we're doing it again is to set up the anchors. So left hand will be right here. This is how left hand IK looks like. Right hand IK will be over here, which is attached to my hip. And then left elbow IK will be a bit more higher. We can still adjust it. Don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, but we will fine tune it. Don't worry. And then right hand elbow will be up here a little bit higher like so. And for the elbows, it kind of depends on how you want your hands to move. I'm going to probably set this so it is actually connected to my, let's say, chest. Uh, for this case just for most users but you may want to change it to either spine or maybe even have it where it's anchored um, where it's attached to the hand eye case itself it kind of just depends on your model and what looks the best really but once you have your IK that looks like this what we're going to then do is we're going to go into character right here and we're going to set up accordingly so 
on left hand IK, like this. Again, go to buy IK here. For left hand, the IK target is going to be left hand IK. You're going to enable this. And then make sure that both the position and rotation weight is there. The bend goal target is actually going to be your left elbow IK. Therefore, doing this, as you can see. And then you'll do the same thing to the other one, the right hand. Set the IK target to your right hand IK. Set it to enabled. Make sure that both position and rotation is set to 1. Then goal target is going to be right elbow IK. Like so. Now, we can refine this a bit more, especially if, let's say, maybe the hand pose or your elbows are looking a little funny. So once you set up the IKs here, and again, you don't have to set this to 1. You may, especially for the, uh, the elbows, you may want to set this, um, you may want to set this to a more smaller number here. So for my personal setup, I have it where it's set to 0 0.3. So I usually put that on my elbows, but again, it really depends up to you, really. Um, so you don't have to use one, but all power to you, but you experiment. But we can refine uh, by clicking on the anchor here. So let's say left hand, I don't like how it's so far to the right side like this. So I'm going to have it where I'm going to press on the E button to enable rotation. And I'm just going to click and drag the thingy here to do this and then W to move it and you can see here that the posing is looking good there you go and then we'll do the same thing to the right hand IK here we'll press uh, E to rotate it do that and use W to move it around so it's to the placement we want and there you go and then we can also adjust the elbows. Let's say, you know, for my case, my it's clipping through my wings. I'll probably need it to be more forward. So just move it forward, really. Um, and just, you know, kind of adjust it until it looks to how you want it. And then do that with that elbow here. Move it forward. Uh, do keep in mind that especially if you lean a lot, uh, you may want to, again, do some trial and error when it comes to, like, you know, the shoulders because the IK don't consider the shoulders as much or that kind of overdoes it so you may want to experiment again the value in the uh weight here you may want to change it up a bit um but usually these are just the things i have in my personal setup so i can be able to do this and of course if you really want to have that hip shake and all that i did make a separate tutorial on how to do that so you can just copy what i did in that hip um, that hip tutorial I made and then follow this tutorial here just combine them both and that's how you can be able to do both like that hip shake with your uh, hand eye case pretty much now also you probably have been seeing that my fingers are wiggling weirdly that's because of eye facial mocap it is the finger uh, pendulum thing which um, there's that but um, I'll get into the pendulum uh, toggle step in just a moment but what we're going to do is that now that we have our hands like this we're going to then uh, turn this into a toggle so it's going to be an IK toggle so we can have it where our arms go back to normal and have a simple toggle really so what you're going to do you're going to go into blueprints here and I'm going to go ahead and press on the add blueprint here and then I'm going to rename this blueprint to uh hands on hip toggle now um regardless um so if you're a stream deck user you type in stream deck you can't i always tend to use trigger a lot um so if you're a stream deck user use the um stream deck trigger just find it um should be at the bottom of the list here stream deck uh but if you are a keyboard person you type in keystroke right here so on keystroke press this is in case you don't have uh, a stream deck and you need it to be like this pretty much so i can have it where it's set to one like that and you know you can set up your toggles here and i'll just name this hip or hand on hips so what i'm going to do in order to make this into a toggle i'm going to use the flip-flop node um this is so that way we can be able to set up though 
A is to kind of have it where you toggle the hand eye case on, and then B is to turn it off. So I'm going to type in IK, and what we're going to do here is we're going to enable the character IK here. So over here, character, um, actually, yeah, connect that. So we'll set this to character, have this set to left hand, the IK target, we're, we're pretty much having it where it's literally like, okay, the things that we put in the assets panel here, just remember the things that you put. So left hand, the IK target is going to be our left hand IK position and rotation. I put that to one Bengal target is going to be the left elbow IK, but we're putting the weight to 0 0.3. And you can set the transition time to 0 0.6 or 0 0.3. I'll put 0 0.3. And then I'm going to have it where I'm going to do control C and then do control V have the exit go into that enter and we're going to have it where instead it's going to be right hand so switch everything else to right hand so right hand right hand ik and then right elbow ik that way it is now enabling these two to be active and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in ik again here but you're going to disable the character ik here so on b we're going to have it so it's character IK is set to left hand and then control C and control V, which is what I just did. And then we're going to do right hand and we're going to set uh, for my case, I'm doing 0 0.3, but you could put it to 0 0.6. So it's not so fast. And there you go. Now let's give this a shot. Okay. So I think I messed up something here. So let me double check. Yeah. So right hand, this is again, we're troubleshooting where one hand works. The other one is not. Let's find out what's up. So let's see. Um, so left hand should be disabled. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to um, connect these two together. So definitely make sure again that you double check if you connected something in case like, oh, is something not working? You double check the line. Ha, gotcha. But, um, but there you go. Make sure your lines are properly connected like so and make sure it looks something like this. If you have to screenshot and take a real good close look at it, you can or pause the video, whichever you need. Um, this is pretty much how you can set it up as a toggle. But what about if I want to toggle my pendulums off? Um, I will show you how to do that. So asset panel here. I'm going to go to eye facial mocap receiver and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to load a pendulum profile. I'm going to load default, append it. I only just want to add the um, arm and finger one. So press on OK. So I'm going to add those two. And then what I'm going to do is I got to keep in mind of the number here. Um, so again, this goes by zero, one, two, three. Um, there may be some trial and error depending on how many pendulums you have, but bear with me about this. So, um, again, make sure that your arm pendulums or finger pendulums is to how you want it. You're going to go over to the blueprint here, and then I'm going to have it where I'm going to type in set asset property. Then I'm going to go here, find, uh, for my case, it's iFacial Mocap. If you're a webcam user, use Media Pipe or Open C Face or whichever your face tracking of choice is. Um, but you just choose whichever your face tracking is, where your pendulums are located. You'll click on the arrow and you're going to scroll down. You're probably going to see some very, very, very scary stuff here. Oh my God. That's, that's a lot of things. Um, again, this is the reason why I said it counts as zero, one, two three so arm and finger is two three so keep that in mind two and three and then what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna find starting with two i'm gonna find two and yes there's a lot but what you're looking for you're probably going to go all the way at the top and you're going to find the one that says enabled this one and that one will be two i'm gonna do control C, control V. Um, I can either type, I can actually just change the number here instead to three. So it's easier. 
So it should be able to trigger three. Otherwise, you can always click in the drop box and see like, you know, your available pendulums. But once you have that, uh, you're going to then have it where you're going to set these to no. Click on that. And then con uh, hold the control um, in case you're wondering how I can do mass duplicating. Hold the control button, left click, drag, then do control C, then control V. And then you're going to connect these two together like this. But make sure, yeah, so that one's set to enabled and this one's set to disabled. And then after that, no pendulum here, pendulum's right there. So that's how you can be able to have it where both you can have um, your pendulum be able to be toggled as well as your hand eye case, as you can see. Awa, awa. As a little bonus for those who are curious about, at least for my personal setup, on how I'm able to make it where the hands have a different pose while when I turn it off it has a different you know pretty much having that change of hand pose uh what I actually do and this is again this is my personal step so you get a little bit more you know reference of the ex of this example um you can see that I'm actually using the enable character override hand pose again you could just type it out here enable character and then it'll be right here so you can attach this to the end of your node you know of your node chain here so for the top part here you have your ik's enabled and then here you just set the post to how you want it you can see mine for example you can screenshot copy i don't care just you know you can use that i'm using the scratch one and then um for the b where i'm disabling the ik's you can see over here i'm using the disable one instead so I type in disable and then it says disable character over at hand post. You put that one, make sure it's for both hands. And that way I'm able to have it where, um, you know, I can have a very specific hand pose um, for, you know, for how I do the little uh, hand pose thing here. Pretty much like hands on the hips and I'm grabbing my hips pretty much. And you can also see in my personal setup again the hips are actually moving so when you combine again the hips tutorial that I made and the um, this tutorial this is pretty much how um, what you can pretty much get so really nice so there you go that's pretty much it for this tutorial though because now you're able to look a lot more sassier I want to see more sassy vtubers come on bring in the sassy energy go ahead I want to see it but I hope that this tutorial helps you out though and I hope you can be able to do some really cool stuff with your water dose stuff and I look forward to seeing more stuff that you can do. Um, I'll try my best to post more tutorials. Sorry for the delays on tutorials but keep on learning everyone. I hope you have a lovely day and see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.